Hi, welcome to the Paper Snot. This is Tara. Today I am going to be combining two YouTube hops. The first one is the, the 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. This will be day 21. The second hop is a hop put on by um, Jeannie Linguini on YouTube and it is Tool Time Tuesday where we dust off our tools and we use them. This month for Tool Time Tuesday, we are using stamps. And this is the sketch for today by Deborah Adler Hunt. It's kind of a cool sketch. And I have the stuff laid out that I'm going to use some of it. I have to decide on a font for a title still. But I have some stuff up here that I want to talk about. So first up, I want to talk about this floral ephemera. I made these with a set of stamps from Pink Fresh Studios. It has stamps, it has stencils, as well as the die. Um, one of you who subscribed to me asked about how I store my stamps. I believe that was you, Michelle. And this is how I store my stamps. These are Avery L um, envelopes. And this particular set has, of course, the die and the stencils that match. And I'm not going to be stamping any of those on camera because as you can see, I have several stamped out already. I just pulled them so that I could use them on this page. Um, I also have some pattern paper from Paige Evans Bloom Street that I've already cut down for the strips. And then a couple more stamps because I thought I might, um, instead of using a pre-done label i might go ahead and stamp a label and then maybe put some stamped images on my background as well this is actually a piece of a four by six project life card from ally edwards i cut it off and i'm going to use that for my journaling maybe so um oh and my bramble fox February box finally arrived from across the pond and I'm probably going to use this um, as my title instead of just looking for a font. So I'm going to speed this up. So let's get started. All right. So off camera, I kind of played with how I'm going to set this up. I want to talk about what my goal was here. Nothing's glued. Um, so first off, I made these with a strip of, I think it's two and a quarter, just under two and a quarter by 12 inch piece of paper. And I wrapped it around a paintbrush and then just glued it. And all I'm doing with that is I am tucking it under the photo and then adding a matching piece up the top. And that's all I did with that. Um, this is one of the pieces that I thought I might use for the title. I did go ahead and I stamped with that. I don't, do not know what's on my stamp block, but okay. Anyway, I stamped with a very light gray from Pink Fresh Studio. It's the Rocky Slope. So on this one, I stamped Noted and then I stamped the label around it. And I stamped two pink and a blue and yes this is product backing from l studio kit um, i put those in my counterfeit kit this month because they make great journaling places and so i figure i, I would stamp those there and then journal on two of them i may still bring in these hearts i'm probably not going to use the red or any of the little tickety pieces. Um, but I might use the little hearts. And then of course, I wanna use some of these flowers because I didn't stamp these today, but I don't know, they match fairly well with what I'm doing. So I may tuck some pieces in there. I have the blue as well that I can come in over here so we'll see about that. Um, and I have two trays full of these 
already done. I keep a stash of those on hand because I never know when I'm gonna need them. So here's the other tray full of them. And of course there's a couple different flower um, stamps from Pink Fresh Studio in here that I was just playing with. Like I was playing with this one. I didn't really like how that one turned out, but anyway, they're there. And I may even come in and just use these yellow because they kind of contrast a little bit. But, so I'm gonna go ahead and decide what I'm gonna do here because I like how this is set out. I'm not liking the white background. So I may go and grab another piece of the Bloom Street and use it for a background. Or I may cut this down and mat it on a piece. We'll see. All right, so let me speed you up. So I did go ahead and mat my white cardstock with one of the other Bloom Street papers from the paper pad, but it was still too stark white for me. And I'm gonna bring in these beautiful, shiny, metallic watercolor paints that I got from Tuesday morning a couple of months ago and put away, which means they were hidden from me and I forgot I had pur purchased them until I pulled out my other watercolor palette and remembered those when I saw them. Anyway, I am just going to put four strips of watercolor paint down this layout to match each strip of pattern paper and the tags that I cut with my Cameo and I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to build the layout. There is no method to this madness. I'm just kind of just adding color as I go. I did put water in each of the four colors that I knew I was going to use off camera so that it would be faster, but I have to add some because I didn't get quite enough for the pink. Anyway, these are really bright colors. I really, really like these colors on this background and I'm really pleased with how my layout turns out in the end. So stick with me, watch me build it. I let my background dry just a little bit. It is still damp when I start building the layout, but that's okay. I'm gonna mat each of my four photos on the respective cardstock tag. I cut these tags with my Cameo off camera. No sense making you watch that, and besides, it's really loud. The purple one, I got the hole a little bit off-centered because I had to stretch the design, and it moved the hole for the um, circle. Anyway, when I put the circle back on it, I got it on there off-centered and it's okay because I'm going to put some twine on it and unless you pick apart my layout, you're not really going to see that because I cover it. So one of the things that I did for this layout because I had put it together without gluing it down off camera and I got things laid down just where I wanted is I took a photo of how they were laid down and then I printed that photo and it is propped up where you can't see it but I'm using that as my guide to get my stuff back onto this background where I intended for it to go. I know, cheater cheater, pumpkin eater. So once I get my tags and photos adhered to the background, I'm gonna start putting that patterned paper behind the photos. Now, I already mentioned that I made the little rolls with um, paper and a paintbrush, and I did that off camera, of course, and then I just glued it down with 
quick dry. I used a clip to hold the roll, roll until the glue was just dry enough to let go and then let it sit overnight so that it was fully dry. Now I have seen this on other creators layouts and I've always been kind of worried you know once I put it in my page protector what is going to happen to those rolls are they going to get flattened by the um, other layouts in front of and behind them the answer to that question is absolutely not those are fairly thick so unless you make a thin roll with it it's not going to flatten out at all so that made me kind of happy because i like the look of it and a little bit of dimension in my album from a page here and there is not a big deal i don't create bulky pages for every layout that goes into an album so one that is fairly bulky like this one is going to be okay I want to put twine bows on my tags, but I only have blue, orange, and pink pulled out. The purple twine that I have is a dark purple, and I thought about repeating one of the other colors, but I really wanted to use purple on that other tag, so I'm setting that aside while I think about what I'm going to do. What I actually do is I use the dark purple anyway and it looks okay it, it doesn't look out of place so here i'm gonna fussy cut this tag for you i think i only do one of these on camera because i know you all know how to fussy cut and why would you want to sit and watch a left hander sit and struggle with fussy cutting don't think that's fun So as I finish up fussy cutting this, I'm getting ready to turn off the video and Jasper decides it's time to take over my recording spot. So there's his cute little paws on my leg. So now I'm ready to finish up my layout. I've glued most everything down and now I'm just kind of placing these floral ephemera pieces that I stamped down below each of three of the photos. I decided not to put any on that fourth photo because my journaling um, labels take up all that space and I just didn't want to have to fuss with trying to get them to tuck just right. And besides, I kind of like the offset look that it gives. I am going to use adorable as my title and I'm going to adhere it with these glue dots. I'm curious, what do the rest of you use to adhere acrylic titles like this? Um, I've only ever used glue dots, but I'm curious if there's a better adhesive to use in its place. I'm also adhering down the twine bows that I tied off camera and I'm laying out those acrylic hearts that I have chosen to use on this layout. Note, I have not taken the backing or the top piece off any of them just yet. I'm just kind of plopping them down for now so that I can get an idea of where they're going to end up on the layout. All right, I have finished it. I went ahead and adhered everything to the page, added my journaling. I did add a little bit more watercolors in the lines because once I put my lines down of pattern paper and cardstock, it covered some of them. Um, it kind of made a little bit of a mess, but it's mixed media and messy is good for me. Um, I do want to point out that I did use my stamped images. I also used the little labels that I cut out from a stamped image. And this is also for this sketch. This is my take on 
day 21 sketch for 30 days of sketches, make sure that you check that collaborative playlist that I have in the description box below my video. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel today and you have a great day. Bye.